Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video between these five waters. We're back in round two of this water comparison chart. We're right here. And so in round one, I already reviewed all five of these waters and gave you a lot of information about them, gave you their history and their background. Uh, in round two, it's just a taste test, basically. I'm gonna compare these five and decide which one tastes the best and moves on to round three. I don't have any notes. There's nothing to tell you guys. Like you can see my screen here, there's no notes on it. Um, so let's just get started. And look, let, let's be honest here. <laughs> These three are sparkling flavored waters. These three right here. They're, they're not going to win. Let's just be serious here. The winner is going to be one of these two still waters. Because the winner is just my own personal preference. And I prefer still waters. So I'm going to taste test these two first and decide the winner before I do these because once you start doing the, the flavored waters it contaminates your mouth and um, it's harder to review the still waters so I'm just going to do these two first. Here is LaCroix spring water and Nura Pre alkaline water and uh, you can tell that this is a truly a spring water because there's no nutritional information on it I think with the laws, if you alter the water in any way, you have to add nutritional information to it. But if it's truly spring water, you don't have to do that. So here's LaCroix. It's a good one, but it's like a really standard, tastes exactly like uh, are very close to Niagara or Nestle waters. Um, like really, the only taste that you're getting is the the bottle itself. Like I don't think the water has any taste to it at all. No bad aftertaste or anything like that. Here's Norapri. I do have a small note to add to this. I I, I just noticed this. If you look through the bottle. You can see that the label is double-sided. I didn't notice that in my first review, but you can see like a pregnant mother in there, like hidden behind the nutritional information. Okay, here is Neuro Neuropre. This one does have a taste to it, especially you know going back and forth. You can tell that this one has a strong taste. It's like. It's like a Flintstone vitamin, or like a one-a-day vitamin. Like, kind of like a, almost a chalky taste to it. And look, if you're a pregnant mother, your main concern is probably getting vitamins and minerals. Your concern is probably not the taste. But for this review... The, the main concern is the taste of the water. So I'm going to just say that the winner is LaCroix, just because I think it tastes better. This one is, is probably healthier for you. Like this one is alkaline. It's uh, got a lot of vitamins and minerals, and they, they make tons of health claims on their website. But as far as the taste goes, I don't like that it has the uh, the flavor to it. Like I think water should just be pure tasting. So yeah, this one is out. So really, let's just say it now, the winner is LaCroix. Okay, congratulations LaCroix, you're the winner. And now, uh, let's review the flavored waters. Here's Stars and Stripes from... Dollar Tree. It's got a strong smell to it. I, I do like that this is like a very mild uh, fizzing up. Very mild bubbling. I think this would be good to enjoy during a movie. Like if you're drinking this while eating popcorn... I think it could be a good a good drink to have. Here's sparkling ice. Um, in the in the YouTube comments, 
me and Chad were kind of having a debate on whether or not this is actually water or not. And I think that's actually like a legitimate debate. I think it could be argued either way. Because this has 21 ingredients in it. <laughs> the only reason I reviewed this is because it says water on the on the label. It's it smells like a lemon. This one has a stronger fizzle to it and a stronger taste to it than Stars and Stripes. Here's bubbly. Lime bubbly. Oh, hi, Mark. Much more mild, mild flavor. I didn't do this in the first round. I want to pour this in here and see what color it is. Yeah, lots of bubbles in there. But yeah, it's it's clear. This one adds artificial colors to it. The bubbly water is actually just clear, which is better in my opinion. I think it's more like water. The more clear it is, the more like water it is. Like, why would you call yourself water and add artificial colors? It's kind of dumb to me. Okay. Here's the winners for the, for the sparkling ones. This is the best sparkling. This is second place. This is third place. This one leaves like a really, you know, bad residue on your teeth. Like sugary, artificial flavor residue on your teeth. And out of these three, um, this is the order I would choose to drink them in if I had to choose. I would go with bubbly and then this and then that. Uh, so congratulations, LaCroix. You're moving on to the next round. It's kind of intimidating looking at this chart. This, all five of these, is just this small section here. We still have all of these waters to review, so we still have a long way to go. Um, it's going to be tough finding the other almost 100 waters that we need to find. Uh, but thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.